Due to our county's history based on moonshine, we wrote this story. This story is fiction, but is based on a real story from our county. I present to you Caught on Fire by Potatoes. Today, I was visiting my mom and dad's house. We were outside sitting around the fire and having a beer. The warmth of the fire reminded me of old times we had together. I began to feel aged as time went on. It had been quite a while since I felt the warmth and smell of a fire like this. The house was located in a field in the middle of Callaway. The outside of the house looks like a big red barn. The shingles on the top are old and worn out. There were many old treasure memories inside. My dad, mom, and I were catching up when my father felt his back start to hurt and ache. I asked him what was wrong. He then said, I have a big scar on my back. It's been bothering me lately. I asked him soon after how it had gotten there. He showed me what his scar looked like. It was round and circular. I could see an outline of what looks like a log. I was curious and questioned what kind of accident would cause such a scar that looked as bad as that. He told me that it was a long and complicated story. I had all the time in the world. You see, Danielle, a long time ago during the Prohibition days, when I was against it, things were different down at the Moose Lodge or Grassy Hill. There was a speakeasy and hidden in the back of the bar. They were able to get your liquor from your grandfather. Your grandfather had a still behind his house. He was a very well-known man all over Franklin County. When he finished making five gallons of liquor, he would sell it to the Moose Lodge. The Moose Lodge will then give the speakeasy four gallons and only keep one. There, this is where I spent most of my young adult years. One night, I came home to, from the speakeasy and I was very intoxicated. Your mother had cleaned the house and finished making dinner. When I walked into the kitchen, the dishes were not washed. I questioned her on why they were not washed. She said that she hadn't quite gotten to that point, and she had just finished dinner. Seeing as how I was intoxicated, I started to become enraged. I will admit, as much as I am ashamed I to do so, that I started to become abusive and pulled your mother to the sink. I told her to wash the dirty dishes. She pulled away from me and ran over to the fireplace. She grabbed a somewhat warm log and threatened she would hit me. I did not believe she had it in her. Plus, I was out of my mind with rage. I would not quit. I went after her, screaming, and grabbed her by the hair, throwing her to the floor. I felt pretty satisfied and headed to the kitchen for another drink. However, as soon as I turned around, she threw that log with all her power that she could muster. The force threw me against the ground. I got this big gash on my back as soon as I was down. Your mother ran to the bedroom and locked the door. It took me a long time to, to be able to get myself up off the floor. It took even longer for your mother to forgive me. Over the years, as I healed, it became a huge scar, a daily reminder of my mistake. I still remember everything that happened that day. I will always be very grateful of what I did that one day. Once in a while, the pain of it comes back and gives me a reminder of my horrible mistake. Once my father told me this story, I was in shock. I've always known that my mother wasn't afraid to fight back, but this really shook me. She was sitting across from me and dying of laughter. This was very different from what I've seen from my mother every day. I asked my father if he learned his lesson. He sighed and nodded his head. I'm glad I was able to hear this story. It explains a lot. Since I was born after this accident, no one ever talked about it again. It did, however, explain how he never went to the Moose Lodge, or why I never saw him drunk. He showed my mother plenty of respect from then on.